Hello, I am called the NYE, the son of wonderful. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Depend on your time zone. I hope you're having a wonderful time. Earlier on, we discussed about uh, how to get our, our nature, the city of our nature, uh, moving or walking. And we titled it uh, part one. We said, um, the your nature immediate, uh, on nature city immediate uh, resonance. Let the journey begin. We did the part one, and in it, we discussed about um, how we can um, uh, get this on nature um, up and running, and that's what we've been discussing and uh, the role, the, what immediately uh, we need to do that in six months we can say yes and we beat our chest and say that um, look there is a big change in our nature and we were discussing about it and um, and we called it part one now we are going to uh, dwell on the part two because we gave out two points in our, our part one and now we're going to discuss about part two. And this part two will um, uh, go like this. Remember in part one, we talk about uh, the governor, um, you know, making noise about our nature, using what is happening in our bar as, uh, uh, as a point. And uh, also getting, um, you know, uh, getting involved and the need for him to uh, devote uh, resources and time 99% on Onicha because Onicha is is a 1 billion dollar economy or more than 1 billion dollar economy and that if he can do that basically he will have a billion dollars to spend because there will be or half a billion dollars to spend because uh he will be re he will be getting a lot of uh income or revenue internal revenue from all that so we talked about uh uh how he can also uh, do that we talk about that making of noise and uh, talking about on each other breathing on each other you know going to the street uh having a, a sort of uh uh, serious chat, serious discussions with a timeline of six months to accomplish in one year, and uh, we talked about about uh, dealing with the chaos in the markets, the repositioning of the markets, the reposition of the market because the markets are not done with um, the intention of beautifying the city in the first place. It being turned into a sort of an eyesore, very dirty, and um, how to get it up and running by making sure that um, first there is uh, room for for shoppers to enjoy and feel the market. That the market is welcoming, the market is uh, modernized, especially starting with the, doing the first thing first, cleaning up the whole markets, getting um, all those attachments, all those uh, things that. You know, people has put on the way to restrict even the the visitors and the customers from uh, actually enjoying the scenery and getting all the ground or the floor pathways concreted or terrazzoed and also um, or interlocking them and uh, sweeping it, washing it every day, evening, morning. You know, getting it uh, in shape with uh, deliberate it should be a deliberate uh, thing to do that's what we are this we discussed and uh, that's what uh, we discussed and we talked about the infrastructure because what uh, had held on each other down is the poor road uh, infrastructure or the infrastructure generally but we are dwelling on the roads because the roads are not only that it's so narrow that it cannot accommodate 
the cars it cannot accommodate the uh, the people also and it cannot accommodate big businesses the interconnectivity of the roads are very very bad that uh, i think in this part two we will talk more on this road issue the roads in on each need to be widened it need to be widened it need to be uh intentionally widened in a way that uh, it can you know and beautified you know and uh, the 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 curbs uh, done properly like what you see here see the curbs and you see the road markings you see is is clean you know and uh, interconnectivity of those roads with uh, flyovers and um, and other pedestrian bridge and uh, walkovers or whatever you call them so the roads need to be you know actively revamped revamped you know getting dual carriageways motorways linking the roads like uh, we normally discuss that the niger drive should have been a four lane road dual carriageway joining to uh, zix avenue the zix avenue soludo is doing should have also be a dual carriageway joining to uh, iweka where he's uh, dualizing so you see it will connect together from Hague Bridge, you can. And from that uh, uh, Niger Street, across the Onicha or Enugu Road, at that Hague Bridge should have a flyover. You see, connecting the other side of Obaru. So now you have a, you have a better you have a better city. You know, you have now a better city which uh, you can easily. Uh, be proud of and the other end is, is connected to Iweka Road and by connecting to Iweka Road which is being dualized you know the Iweka Road dualization should also um, make it in the form of that the dualization should be in some areas six lane or even if it's not six lane at least four, four lanes and then the more street I think they need also to dualize the Moor Street by getting rid of some of the buildings on one side of Moor Street so that you will end up to main market a dualized road. So by so doing, it will help to get on each other looking very nice. And also from Niger Street to uh, uh, Potakot Road, that Potakot Road can also be dualized also. But if it's not dualized, another flyover can actually connect it to the other end, to Uguta Road. You see? So that if you are driving, you feel a while faster in the city of Onicha. Onicha. For I just bringing you for those that are not understanding what we are talking. We are talking about Onicha, one of the three or four cities that need to rise for, on, for Nigeria to rise. You have the city of Aba. Onicha, Newi, Lagos, these four cities. If Nigeria is to join the community of industrialized and commercially viable uh, cities or countries, these uh, four cities has to rise. If they don't rise, nothing happens in Nigeria. That's for sure. So that's why we are spending our time discussing about this city, the great city of Onicha. So, for those that are not familiar with Onicha, Onicha is in Anambra state, uh, southeast of Nigeria or eastern Nigeria, and um, is known for its commercial viability. And uh, it has actually raised billions of, uh, uh, it has raised billionaires, and millions has benefited from this city over the years. So, that's why we are. We are spending a lot of time discussing about this city. So, and that's why we are talking about how to make this city to work. That's why the topic we are dealing with is called the Onicha City Immediate Resonance. That's let the journey begin. Let the journey begin now. Let the journey begin now. We are dealing on part two and we are dwelling on the road infrastructure. 
the the consistent uh, the consistency to deliberately done these roads and in the road infrastructure will also involve the people and the landlords we have discussed this thing before the government should be looking a way to do all the roads in our nature and you uh, people will say what where would they find the money let me tell you the money is the people the money is the investors the landlords the tenants market women they all live in the street they have all uh, they have uh, uh, properties they have uh, they have uh, a lot of investments there so if the government will deliberately make uh, financial uh, uh, financial uh, institutions or found their infrastructural bank that will be able to loan to each landlord or landlord association or every street money to do their roads within one year and they repair it with a uh, uh, zero percent uh, zero percent uh, interest on the loan it will go a long way to add value to this city and at the same time not only adding value it will also help to uh, get the city working as a modern city as a 21st century city um, if you want to know about this we have discussed about this how this can work how the government can do that in partnership you know and there is no investor or no landlord or property developer that you will tell okay invest 2 million or 2.5 million to pave your road in front of your road that will not do that once he, the person knows that the value to the property will get up to 5 to 10 million immediately after doing, doing that, that they will not fail even when they don't have the money the government can also make out a way to loan them money so that they can easily do all those things so the government now concentrates in doing the major roles the major roles has to be a timeline so when building this you must have a calculation you must have a deliberate action to do all those roles at the same time not to walk in on uh, 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 road a and leaving roads b and c because the road b and c will help to destroy the road a because all the traffic will go to road a and uh, and all the mud from unpaved road will get into road a and thereby helping to damage the road a so that's a simple thing i don't want to uh, dwell so much on this so we are we are going to discuss about um you know citing uh in group in group something like uh something like uh hotels hotels let me do uh, a tourist attraction area you know citing hot where to build hotels where you will cite in the bank of the river niger the investors that will build five-star hotels high-rise hotels that will be not less than 10 10 floor up that the police place will be made for them to build something that will have uh, uh, a place that will have between five to ten of uh, five star hotels that is not less than ten story high or more so this will be given to investors to build that hotels or government can actually build one and invite investors to build one or in partnership with different investors but it should not have have less than five different hotels that are five story high so think about that if soludo can actually be able to do this and you are looking at the the skyline the river bank or the coastal line of onicha and you are looking at 10 story 15 story hotel buildings and you're looking at that I, i'm telling you the dubai people thought it would be an illusion or a john webwaji project you will see it coming to pass because once there is a deliberate uh, action getting big time investors there are many investors in uh, in anambra state billionaires 
the only thing is to uh, create the investable investable area or investor and uh, investor uh like honeycomb giving the honeycomb plotting the place for them to do these things and say look this is the place and you start advertising it you see investors coming for it because they know the worth of it they will come so you now have a target of between five to ten investors that will flood in that place that will come there and build marvels beautifully designed hotel five-star hotels that will land near the bank of the river niger so meaning that the government should deliberately you know clear out the bank of the river niger from odebe to towards anam so they should clear the place you know by deliberately clearing it they now make a, make areas for this an area to site resorts holiday you know leisure areas and all those things with greenery and a lot of things so with this you know i'm telling you the on nature <laughs> we are talking about to rise so in six months people seeing construction high-rise building coming up and in one year in two years the whole of that uh, uh, um, the whole of that uh, river bank is completely transformed people will say wow that things have changed that things have changed so the rising of our nature will begin to happen it's not a rocket science for these things to come into uh, into existence it can happen it can happen if the government is deliberate to map out areas and start advertising it remember in the part one we, we discussed he has to be making noise about this and deliberate talking about the city the more the, the more he's talking about this city he's creating awareness everybody will be googling what is this city for what the, there will be consciousness even if it's not foreign investors the local investors with their eyes will start opening up and once their eyes start opening up let me tell you what you will have is a great uh, scenario a great opportunity some of them that doesn't know about this and because the government is also involved they will be more confident to um, have uh, they will be more confident to have uh, have this sense uh, you know to you know get uh, you know rush to that place and start investing um there was a video we did about uh, investors now looking at our nature as uh, a gold mine to establish universities this you can't believe <laughs> would have happened before it would not have happened before but because there is a little effort by soludo in developing our nature so he's still on two percent three percent hanging by there if he can push it to 10 percent i'm telling you or push it to 20 percent by moving like uh, governor oti talking on each other talking on each other not only talking on each other spend one month and say okay my government house have moved to on each other this month i am on the street every street i'm walking there talking with the people having a um, uh, 30 minutes chat with them having a little this thing how will you solve this how will people brought the idea and we have a land table solution how we can accomplish this in six months it will happen so now the next thing we are going to talk is creating also in some of the river bank of now for nature or a part of nature where universities can site their main campuses high-rise building that should not be not less than eight to ten story high where they will site it so you make it a deliberate effort that around 10 universities new universities because there is a um, uh, some experts believe that on each need at least 10 universities 10 universities in on because of the huge population and the huge uh, demand for university education so now if you have a place you met for them and suddenly they have this this uh, place reserved for them to site university 
what you will get is this along that area you see a lot of high-rise building from maybe you make the university maybe five story to ten story hi you have around five of them having their campuses there and you also have residential building hostels for some of these uh, people that can live there if they want to live those that doesn't want to live so sort of thing so when you have this type of thing you have a city that suddenly rising and becoming a city that everybody will be talking about everybody will like to associate with a city of business that's what we are talking about on each city the immediate reso resonance let the journey begin now let the journey begin now i am called the nye the son of wonderful remember to like this uh, video come to the comment section what do you think how can we make on it a great how can on it arise that's what we are discussing that's what we are talking about how can we make this great city of on nigeria to rise how can we get sea changes within six months how can soludo the governor of anambra state and the government of anambra and the people of anambra and the investors how can we make this thing happen that's what we need to be talking about we cannot only talking about the problems and the challenges anymore let's see how we can change things see how we can turn things around that within six months we start to see things changing we want a change we want on each other to rise again we want on it to change for better we don't want on each other to remain on each other of yesterday we want on each other a 21st century on each other on each other will be competing with all the cities in the world that's what we are discussing about so for you to share your own opinion come to the comment section remember to subscribe to this channel remember also to share because by sharing this you will make uh, the the government of anambra state and many people to watch this video and it will create awareness it will create serious awareness that will actually help to accomplish what we are talking about remember all these things is with a timeline that in six months you can see the sun rising from the east the sun rising in onicha you can see onicha coming up like the morning sun the morning sunshine the rising of the sun in the morning you can see it rising onicha rising onicha re resonance the city of onicha rising let this journey begin now this is the time the journey has to begin we don't need to talk much we don't need to spend so much time on this we don't need to waste our time talking planning 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 without no time timeline our guide should be six months timeline to accomplish the little ones from there we are rising to the bigger ones but a timeline has to be set it's six months and above the road issue we talked about, the markets, six months, one year, is done. The security, six, we're going to discuss about security and how to get on each other, security-wise, in the third part of this discussion. This is a discussion series. This is a discussion series. So, we are going to stop, uh, but we will continue in the comment section. Come to the comment section and we will conclude this, our, uh, our interaction. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for watching. Remember, we're talking about the city of Onicha, how to make it better, how to make it rise again. Onicha City, the immediate resonance. Let the journey begin now. Part two, that's what we just discussed. Thank you very much for joining us. I will see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe and see you and may God continue to bless you as you think how to get this city of furniture better than who met it bye